Okay, so it's the evening now. It's starting to get a little bit dark, but I've never done one of these. This is my first like, I wanted to do like a get ready with me. Um, I asked on Instagram some questions, uh, if you have any questions for me, and I got some responses. So I think what I'm gonna do today is kind of quickly get ready and answer a few questions. Um, yeah, so I have some of these things linked, and uh, if I don't have them linked, I will add them. Okay, so Carly Gaw wants to know, what is the fa my most fa favorite trip that I ever went on? So, that's really hard for me to decide. Uh, oh, I'm using my magic foundation. There's a sale on this right now, and I have it linked. Is it picking up? So, yeah, I would have to say, like, my favorite trip may have been... I don't know, every time I go to the Four Seasons Orlando, I have like the best time ever. So I, I might have to say that, or my honeymoon was really great. That's kind of a hard one to beat. So, probably those. Okay, the sun now is <laughs> shining. <laughs> yeah, those are probably my favorites ever. Um. Our honeymoon was so fun. So we started, we got married at Four Seasons Orlando, and then we headed out to Disneyland, and we went there for like a few days. And then we went on to uh, Lanai, to the Four Seasons Lanai, and we had, oh, so fun. But every time I go to Orlando, I just really love it. I know that sounds probably weird, but I just love the Four Seasons Orlando. There's, I have so many friends down there, so, Lately, that's been one that, I don't know, I just, I love it so much. Okay, next question is from Mary Mac. Tips for traveling in Korea. Okay, so when I went to Korea, it was 20, September of 2019. I will say that people are so respectful, so nice. Like, if you get lost, I had a, a little uh, older lady help me, give me directions. But their transportation is so clean. It was just, it was a great experience. Everyone was so respectful, like I said. We actually used, the hotel gave us a map, and we just used a map to get around. I know that sounds like really old school, but I loved it. It was so, it was just such a good trip. I like, I never felt unsafe or anything like that, but every day we just pick out a few things that we wanted to do and their subway system was really easy to use. Like really easy. And um, yeah, it was, it was just really fun. The food courts, there was one in this Hyundai market. It was a Hyundai department store. The grapes were like this big. Korean grapes are like a big deal. They take fruit really seriously. They had a gift wrapping station just for fruit. I mean, it was so pretty. <clears throat> but yeah, just take the subway is really, really good. And once again, like I spoke to a ton of people that spoke English, so that was helpful. But I did, before I left, make a little note of like little phrases. And I like, phonetically wrote it out how to say it so that way if I did need help I could ask and I was able to but yeah it, I mean when I got there it was the most shocking part of it was the time difference I think because when I got there it's 15 hours ahead and my body was just really out of whack so that was the hardest part for me but i would go back again brad wants to go back again we were supposed to go to tokyo last october obviously that didn't happen but it was just it was an amazing that really that was an amazing trip that was super fun the food was good and like when you buy food they have pictures and it looks exactly like the pictures. It's crazy. I'm just doing this really quick. <laughs> I'm telling you, I do not like 
in the mornings when I do this, it's like, bye. Like, I'm so fast. Let me blend in this and I'll answer another question. But yeah, Korea was awesome. There's a lot to do. There's the Jeju Islands that I didn't even get to go to. I mean, that's what I'm saying. There's just, there's so much in the world to see. And I feel like I've barely done any of it. So, comment below. What, what's on your bucket list travel? I think someone asked me that. So, that's a good segue. I think Shelby asked me what was on my bucket list travel. And probably Australia's on there. What else? Australia. Italy, I, I'm like dying to go to Florence. There's a bug in here. Definitely Florence, I'm dying to go. I would go to Rome for like a day. But the countryside just looks so beautiful. Best food card, this is also from Shelby, at Disney. Definitely any popcorn stand, I'm hitting it up immediately. Popcorn stands are my favorite. Everyone loves the, uh, cheeseburger cart in Advent, I can't even talk. In Adventureland, there is a cheeseburger, it's like a cheeseburger and pizza egg roll in Magic Kingdom that everybody is like obsessed with. So those are good, they're not my favorite, but I do love just popcorn. Whenever I'm at the parks, I have to have popcorn. But my, another thing that I've been obsessing over lately is just the Germany Pavilion in general. I love that caramel store. Oh, they have like, the smell just like permeates. It's so good. Everything in there is so good. What is the best, this is from Will Wilson. <clears throat> what is the best theme park and why is it Universal Studios? Used to, I'd be like, Boo, Universal, but here lately, I've, I've been going quite a bit, actually. Their um, annual passes are just a good deal, so that's why I've been going, but, oh, I forgot to use concealer. But I will say, Halloween Horror Nights is so scary. It really does freak me out. My least favorite Disney ride from Shelby. Oh gosh. Mission space, easy. I do not, it makes me so sick. Last time I wrote it, I literally got so claustrophobic. That's a tough one. I'm surprised that Disney has kept it that intense. I feel like they have been, in the last few years, really like toning things down, but not that one. Not that one in the slightest. Now I'm just using some Kosas powder to set. Oh, and the cream blush was from the beauty crop. Hmm. I, I don't, I'm so surprised though. Yeah, seriously, last time we wrote it, I was like, I don't know if I can handle this. I don't know if I can handle this. Cause it is, it is, it's very intense. I don't recommend it for like my friends that, you know, just want an easy breezy ride. I'm like, don't do it. Definitely don't do it. And I think I did the, the the lesser one, like the least intense one, and I still was like dying. Okay, Shelby wants to know my favorite lipstick. Without a doubt, it's Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's on sale right now. They have like a bundle pack. You get the lip liner, the lip gloss, and the lipstick, and it's like 30% off the bundle, or 15, 20. It's a very good deal. Right now they're having a really good sale and it never goes on sale. So if you're gonna get some now, definitely the time. Because I stock up. I, I went ahead and ordered another one of the foundations because it, I wore this in 95 degree weather the other day, all day, and it held up. Okay, what's where's my next international destination? also from Shelby. You know, it was supposed to be Japan and I honestly think as soon as things get better, um, 
probably go to Japan, yeah. I mean, right now the Olympics are going on. Um, I just want to go so bad. I want to go to Tokyo Disney Sea so bad. I, that was that was a hard thing when I had to cancel it. I was so upset. <laughs> I was so upset. But I like I know we're gonna get to go one day. You know, hopefully next year I'll be able to. I've already been asking Brad. I'm like, when do you want to start looking at travel? You know, for next year. It's just hard to say right now with the other strand. So, but yeah, Tokyo, Tokyo is like, it's always been like a top one for me. I just, am, I'm obsessed with Asia. I had such a great time in Korea. It just seems like the next, the next like step for me, but so fun. I'm obsessed. Japanese food is like my favorite. I just love it. So this palette has lots of shimmery colors and they stay on pretty well. And I feel like I get oily so Yeah, back to back to Korea though. Their subway system was easier to use, far easier to use than New York's. But one good tip that I need to tell everybody is there are these offline subway apps. And every time I go somewhere, I download the city's offline subway app. You just Google best offline subway app for blank city. You know, like if you're going, which is wherever you're going. And that way you don't have to be connected to data or Wi-Fi and it routes your way, routes your lines for you. Super convenient. Definitely download that. That's like a must for me because we never buy international plans. <laughs> so we're usually just, you know, using Wi-Fi at a cafe or using a map. It, make, it makes me feel like more authentic that way than to, you know, it's just my thing. Duramax Darling, Claudia asked me what's on my travel wish list. Yeah, so definitely Florence, Australia, Tokyo. Maldives. Uh, but if I can get Tokyo checked off, I'll be a happy camper because that is just one that I always wanted to do. It's just so pretty. I'm gonna have to do more of these. If you like it or if you don't like it, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd be more than happy to adjust some things. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun just to chit chat while I'm doing my normal everyday things. Traveling is just something that's been so important to me. Um, I just, I love getting to see the world. I think it's just so cool and, it, and it's just such a great reminder of how small I am and uh, just that there's so much out there that's so big, you know? There's just so much to see. I love seeing new cultures. I love experiencing new new things. And I just, I can't get enough of it. I'm like addicted to traveling. So the pandemic's been hard for me. I've been in the U.S. and it's been fun. But I just love when I get to go somewhere new. I mean, there's tons of places in the U.S. that I still haven't seen. But... We all, it's the same culture. I just want to see like different culture is, I guess what I'm trying to say. Another one that would be cool is New Zealand. Iceland. Germany, that's one. Singapore. I'm going to go to Singapore.
even just to Canada more. I just, I don't know. I just like going places. It's fun. Yeah, but you got you guys have to let me know where you want to go. So this Thrive Mascara. It's so good. It's so good. It's crazy how good it is. And it comes off so easily. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this sit-down makeup thing is because Elizabeth Webb was like, you need to do a makeup tutorial. This is just like my everyday easy. I mean, obviously I don't take 15 minutes to do it. I take like five, like on a normal day, but it's just fun to show you. I had eyelash extensions and they annihilated my eyelashes. So I did Latisse and it got them back, but I quit Latisse so now they're shrinking again. I don't mean to say, I prepped my skin and everything before I started. I always have like serums and vitamin C and sunscreen on, hyaluronic, all of it. So I usually don't really put any on the bottom during normal day today. And then what I do is I just take a little brush. And then if I got any black, I just, I just rub it off. Okay, more questions. Oh, Brad asked me, this is one that made me laugh. Brad asked me what the best bathroom at Disney was. That's a hard question because it's a weird question. <laughs> uh, you know, everyone loves the tangled toilets in Magic Kingdom. But there, the, the cast members keep the bathroom so clean everywhere. I don't like the ones by Soaring. Soarin', I don't like them for some reason. Okay, <laughs> now that I look like a weirdo, I used Pillow Talk Liner. I'm going in with a little bit of KKW. in the center. I like that KKW because it lightens things up. And then this is like the glossy version of Pillow Talk, which I also have the matte one too, but you know, whatever. My camera is dying, I'm sorry. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys for following along on this little get ready with me slash Instagram questions. So any more questions, put them below. Uh, I'm gonna link some of my favorite makeup. And uh, yeah, thank you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, like the video, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I'll see you the next time, thanks.